Let me ask you something. How many shots have you even taken since I got this hood? Right, it's really simple. All you have to do is keep your off hands straight, follow through, and then put your legs into it. Dude, you're such a lost cause. I'm not trying out for the goddamn Celtics, relax. You literally told me last year that you wanted to try out for college. That was before my shoulder injury. Is that right? Speaking of, you made a final decision yet? For college? Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually. I was gonna go to, I'm gonna go to ASU. Oh. Sorry, man, it's just that. No, don't worry about it. I, I get it. You know we can still hang out during holidays and summers and everything, right? Of course. Are you seriously mad about this? No, it's, it's, it's whatever. I don't seriously have to explain this to you, right? No, asshole, I get it. You can't party at a community college. So I do need to explain it. Just drop it. You can't be serious. Are you really that blind? Just drop it. Community college graduates earn an average of 13000 less per year than university graduates. You feel $50,000 in the debt to pay for it doesn't really make much sense. Eventually that 13000 makes up for the- That debt will be hanging over your head for the next 20 years. Then I'll get scholarships. With your 2.7 GPA. There are other ways. Look, this is what's best for me and if you were my friend you would actually be supportive. You know, you should really try out for varsity next year. Not this year. Why not? Because I don't have enough practice under my belt. Yeah, I could probably make JV, but I don't think seniors are allowed to play JV. You have a God-given gift, man. I'd be damned if I let something like that go to waste. I don't know. Wait, are you messing with me? We've been playing for three weeks, and this is literally the first time you made more than three shots in a row. Yes. Yes, I am. It takes 10,000 hours to master some. That's about a year and a half, so if I practice on a regular basis throughout the next year and a half, I'll easily make the team. You know that that number refers to the amount of hours needed to practice, not for the amount of time to pass, right? I don't care what you say, man. I'm making that team. If that's something you really want to do, I will help you. It's just, you kind of suck. Yeah, kill yourself. By the way, I invited Ben over. Really? Yeah. Wow, I haven't seen that dude in a fat What has he been doing? You really don't know? Well, yeah, I know he's a drug dealer, but why hasn't he come around for like a year? No idea. Then why the hell did you invite him over? He just asked if we could hang out. Probably ran out of friends. What's that supposed to mean? Come on. What? The dude supplies like our entire district with Adderall. I mean, you don't make lifelong friends in that type of business. Does he even go to school anymore? No. Right, so not only is he a dope peddler, but he's also a high school dropout. Oh, is that important to you? I think you know the point I'm trying to make. And to be honest, it doesn't seem smart to me invite him over. You know what, man? He's my oldest friend in the world, and I'm not going to turn my back on him. Look, all I'm saying is that if he wants to use you as a pawn in his little drug empire, you, you got to know how to say no. I'm not a fucking pushover, man. Come on. He's had you in his back pocket for years. Just, you know, be strong. Look, I've known him since second grade. His brother overdosed when he was 11, and his parents beat the shit out of him until he was 14. Safe to say, he hasn't had a great life, and I may be the only person he has left, so I'm gonna be there for him, okay? All right, that's fine. Just know that I'm not getting sucked into anything. Neither am I.
Why are you two always playing video games? You ever think of going outside and being social? Yeah, we think about it all the time. We just never do it. And why is that? Uh, because we don't need that validation. What validation? Yeah, it'd be pretty much useless to explain something like that, given that it's mostly subliminal. Whatever, man. You two spend way too much time together. We're good friends. Then why are you always fighting? Fighting is the sign of a good relationship. Heterosexual relationship. I feel like that goes without saying. Yeah, I'm gonna say it anyway. But seriously, have you guys even been to a party since high school started? Of course we have. Really? You two? You've never been to a party. Hey Ben, you wanna turn down the douchebag just a little bit? Eric, how's it been, man? I'm fine. How about you? I'm alright. You still driving that little electric car? Yes, I am. Hmm. Why? You wanna make a thousand dollars? No, 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 no. No way, no way, man. Thanks, but I'm good. Come on, man, I need your help. No, dude, I'm not helping you. It's a thousand dollars for 30 minutes of your time. I don't care, man. I'm not getting involved in your business, okay? No, dude, this is separate. I just need to go pick up some cash, and I need a ride. Why can't you just drive yourself? I just need someone to have my back. Make sure I wasn't following. How much money exactly are you picking up? Why, why does that matter? So you're giving me a grand for a ride to some guy's house? You know I'm not stupid, right? There must be something I'm missing. Dude, it's, it's not that big of a deal. The bag has 50 grand. So you're getting a bag with 50 grand in it and you're giving me one? All right, I will do it for five grand if you can look me into the eye and tell me that there's no looming danger or anything that you're not already telling me that's going to happen. This is a simple pickup. There's no looming danger, and in the very, very, very small chance that someone tails us, I just need someone to be there. You in? Five thousand? Five thousand. Pick me up tomorrow night. Wait, why so late? Hey man, what's up? Have you talked to your brother lately? No, okay, so you don't know about what he's doing tonight. You, you remember Ben? Yeah, the, the other day he came he came by in unusual fashion. He got he got Eric to do some stuff that'll probably get him into trouble and um so I was just thinking because I mean I've been trying to talk him out of it for the last few days, but he he just won't listen to me. So I was just thinking maybe you could see if you could Put some put some sense into him or something. Um, I mean, I know you probably wouldn't know or believe me, but I mean, he respects the hell out of you and your opinion. So I would, like subconsciously, and it in your opinion means a lot to him. So I was just thinking you could talk to him. I mean, please. I'm. I think he needs to hear it from someone else. I mean, I'm like worried. I'm like freaking worried. I mean, Ben has gotten increasingly sketchy over the years, and your goddamn brothers can't say no to him, so please just just talk to him. I mean, he needs to hear you. He needs to hear from you. Did you hear if he was getting paid? I mean, I don't... Yeah, I, I think so. Why? No, you can handle it yourself.
you're his brother. Who was that? He was my boss. expired and I haven't switched it out yet, just put it back. My turn, get off. I'm in the middle of a game. I don't care, you should have thought about that before you started. I'm not getting off. Just wait till I'm done. Dude, our Xbox Live is ending tomorrow. I want to play as long as I can until it's up. Wait, why? We can't afford it anymore. Bro, it's like $10 a month. I don't know, that's what mom said. Why don't you just pay for it? I give all the money I make to mom. Since she got laid off, we're barely able to afford groceries. What? Why does she sell a truck or something? She probably doesn't want to sell the only thing Dad left behind. Damn. I had no idea it was that bad. Well, you're not the sharpest knife in the garden. Do I need to get a job? I need to start contributing somehow. Are you still in contact with Ben? See if there's any easy little jobs you can do. You know what he does, right? Yeah, but you don't have to do anything sketchy. Just see if there's a few impervious things he needs done. Here you go. We need money, man. Just think about it.
are you doing? Why'd you stop? We need to keep moving. What was that? What the fuck just happened? $50,000. You said that this was a clean pickup. It was. How? What do you mean, how? How do you call that a clean pickup, Ben? Did I miss the part where someone took a shot at you? You just killed that guy! I told you there'd be no danger, and there was none. In our direction. You don't see how me being an accessory for murder might be a problem for me? How is anyone gonna know it was you? What if someone tracks the license? You told me the registered plate isn't the one on the car right now. Why? I mean, why, Ben? Why would you do this to me? I had to. Why, though? I had to. That's not a valid answer, Ben. That's all you need to know. Just get out of the car. No, you need to drive me home. Get out of the fucking car! No. Then tell me why. I can't. Well, that's your ticket home, so you better start talking. He killed my brother. What? He killed him. Seven years ago. I thought you told me he overdosed. I thought he had. It wasn't until a couple of months ago, one of his guys let it slip. One of his guys? Yeah, he was kind of the biggest Adderall dealer in the city. Or maybe even the state. Oh, really? And why were you talking to one of his guys? I... I worked for him. So you voluntarily worked for your brother's murderer? I didn't know when he recruited me. He recruited you? Yes. Why would he recruit you if he had to kill your brother first? I don't know. They just needed someone they can trust. I was never supposed to know about it. That's not an excuse. You took the money. So clearly, that wasn't your only motive. Well, I'm gonna leave town, and obviously I'm gonna need the money. Why the hell are you leaving town? Would you just drive? I want to go home. How would anyone link you to this? Just drive, please. Are you serious right now? Are you seriously trying to play this off like I should feel bad for you? I can't even believe you, man. Why would you do this to me? I needed a getaway driver. You could have easily just left the car running and gotten away on your own. I'm not taking that risk. Would you rather involve me in this? That's it. I'm gonna drop you off, and I'm fucking done. And if this comes back to bite me in the ass, I'm riding you out so fast. Would you relax? It's midnight in a nice neighborhood. No one's calling the cops because of one shot. No one saw except for Damon's guy, and he's obviously not going to the cops. We're in the clear. You took $50,000. You don't think anybody's gonna come back looking for that? That's my problem.
dude, where's my license plate? It's gone. Ben! I'm sorry. What do you mean, I'm sorry? It was either you or me. What'd you do? Tell me! I took your new plate and I put it where the money was. In a few minutes, they'll have tracked you down. I left my pistol in the passenger seat of your car. I suggest you use it. They shouldn't send more than two men. Your best bet would be to catch him by surprise. You piece of shit. My fucking family is home, man. Listen, you could sit there and stew in anger, or you can listen to me and save their lives. Your brother probably wasn't even a fucking drug dealer. That whole story was bullshit, wasn't it? Eric, listen to me. They're coming. You don't have time to... Just stay still. Yes. Look at this chick, dude. Damn, who's that? This girl from my gov class. She just moved here from Brazil. Not to brag, but I gave her a pencil once. TMI, bro. TMI. Seriously, though, she smiled at me like three times. I think she digs me. Just be careful now. You wouldn't want to embarrass yourself. What? Why? Do you think she's out of my league? Yeah. I'm a solid six, and she's probably a nine, and you dated a seven, and you're a four, so... Anything's possible. Bro, I ain't a four. Yeah, you are. How? You look like you should be in the original Planet of the Apes movie. Yeah, but at least I have a personality. I may be a six, or even maybe a seven. But I don't think you're incorporating the fact that you're ugly as shit. But, I mean, it's whatever. Guys shouldn't be talking about this. It's kind of weird. Bro, I haven't touched myself in three weeks. Why did you just say that? Hold that thought. Hello? Eric? Who's this? You're alive. I can't believe you're alive. Ben? 
Yeah. Where are you? I can't tell you that. What, 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 what do you want? I just want you to understand. I know that what I did is unforgivable, but I need you to at least know why I did it. There was a price tag on my head. I needed to leave town, but I had no money. You couldn't think of any other way to get money? Not that much. I knew that Damon was waiting on someone to pick up the bag, so that seemed like my only option. The only problem was, if they knew it was me, no matter where I fled to, they'd find me. I thought you said you already had them after you. No, it wasn't them. I had a different syndicate after me. But what those were the type of people who wouldn't track you down anywhere in the world. Damon's would. Fuck you. I'm sorry. You know I have a dead guy buried in my backyard. I can't sleep. I can't even look at myself in my own mirror. I live in constant fear that someone's gonna come and murder my entire family because of you. Because you decided your life is more important than anyone else's. And your original plan didn't even make any sense. What would you have done if, if you didn't find my license plate in your glove box? At first I had no intention of pinning on you, but when I saw the plate I just... You just dropped what little dignity you had left, man. I'm truly sorry. Don't bother. Yeah. I know eventually, I will find a way to message Damon's people, and I'm telling them that it was you. I deserve whatever happens to me. All right, so how are you doing? It's been about seven months, correct? Uh, yeah, something like that. Wait, since when did psychiatrists do house calls? Well, I've always done house calls. Not a lot of doctors do, but I've tapped into a niche market. Oh, well, thanks for coming. Of course. All right, I have some questions I have to ask you. And at any point you feel uncomfortable or would like me to stop, just let me know, okay? Okay. All right. Have you had any intrusive memories since the event happened? What are those? Intrusive memories are memories that essentially lack the awareness that they are past events and instead are presented as threats to future events. They could be flashbacks, nightmares, or just intrusive images. Oh, um, not that I remember, no. Okay. Have you experienced any distress when coming across things that remind you of the event? No. Have you had any physical symptoms like night sweats or heart palpitation? Uh, no. Any trouble sleeping? No. Listen, doctor. Ever since my injuries healed, I felt 100% fine. Nothing about my mental health has deteriorated or anything. And honestly, I think this is just a way for my mom to say she did something to make me feel better. You got hit by a car driving 30 miles an hour. You had a 60% chance of dying. But if that car would have been going just a little bit faster, you might not be here. You're not fine. That's a traumatic experience. Trust me, I've been through worse. Then you want to talk about that? No. I can't. Why is that? It's just, it's just private, okay? Eric, I'm required by law to keep your secrets secrets. I took the Hippocratic Oath. Trust me, I'm aware of all that. Just, just leave it be, okay? Eric, I can't help you if you don't tell me how you feel. How I feel? Yes. I don't know how I feel. It's, it's just, it's just hard to explain, okay? If you had to put it into one word, what would that one word be? Alone. Even when I'm not. It feels like every person I trust in my heart finds a way to make me regret it. I'm at a point now where I just want to be alone. I don't want anybody to tempt me into trusting them because they're just going to hurt me. I even threw away a plan I had with my friend for four years because of this desire. What desire? The desire... 
for a main level. Anyways. There. That's how I feel, okay? Happy? I'm just trying to do my job. Sorry. It's okay, totally understandable. Can I ask you a question? Yes, of course. So, right before the car hit me, something happened. What do you mean, right before? Like, literally half a second before it hit. Oh. Did your life, like, flash before your eyes? Um, maybe. I mean, it wasn't my entire life. It doesn't have to be. What it is called is LRE, or Life Review Experience. It's actually a very fascinating phenomenon, because the part of the brain that stores memories is the last part of your brain to fail. In near-death experiences, your memory plays back to you at a pace that feels normal, but actually takes place in milliseconds. Then why wouldn't it be your whole life? That's a good question. We don't really have the answer to why. All we really have the answer to is what. And what's the what? There have been studies done that come up with widely varying possibilities. Some people relive their whole lives. Some remember intensely emotional moments. While others found out who they really were as people and their purpose. Others have lost track of time and linear progression. Some say that there are times where they're not even looking through their own eyes and you're seeing yourself from other people's point of views. Those who have felt it actually have said it is quite a scary experience because essentially they're on autopilot. They can see everything, but they can't control anything. Huh. What was yours like? Uh, yeah, it was just some moments from my childhood and school and stuff. Do you want to talk about it? No, it's okay. You sure? Yeah. So you said life review shows you moments that show you who you are as a person? It can. But it doesn't always? Maybe it does. Maybe some people just don't realize what their experience is telling them. Oh 